Hey, good evening. It's uh, Saturday, July 3rd. Evening, end of the day. Uh, you can hear the cicadas and the various other uh, creatures and things going on in the background. So another week is drawing to a close. We have Lord's Day tomorrow. Worship, corporate worship. But it's also Independence Day. And last night, this morning, and then tonight, I'm going to continue this theme of independence and realizing one critical factor. No one is independent of God. And tonight I want to talk about the nations. No country, no state, no political movement is independent of God. If you read Psalm 2, it says that the nations of the world, the rulers of the world, the leaders are conspiring against God. And we can look around us today and say, yeah, that certainly looks that way. And we can get fairly concerned about it and upset about it. And in many cases, that's appropriate. But how does God respond? Well, Psalm 2 tells us God laughs at that. All these threats, all these attacks on God's sovereignty, all these thoughts that he doesn't exist, that man can play the role of kingmaker, that people are in charge. And on one level, yes, God permits, allows, and controls that. But on another level, he is the one that's in control. And that's what Psalm 2 says. God is not threatened by any of this. None of this phases him. He's all bringing it about to bring about what he wants for his good and glory for his purposes, so that his people will be blessed. We read that in, in Genesis chapter 12. All that's happening in the world is God has a purpose to prepare a people for himself. And that's how we understand world history. My little book, uh, When Life Turns Upside Down, it goes into the depth of all this stuff. but. What we leave us with tonight is in the midst of all the cool expo um, you know, celebrations tomorrow for Independence Day, the fireworks and all the things that are going to be said. Other leaders in other countries too think that they're independent. They're not. Nebuchadnezzar again, ultimate political scientist. God is able to humble those who walk in pride. No one can turn back the hand of God. So while we need to be concerned, yes, about the political scene, we need to vote properly, we need to be caring, we need to be in prayer, but we need not to be in despair because God will bring about what he wants. He is able to humble those who think they can go their own way. He even laughs at those who want to throw him away and pretend like the Bible doesn't exist or some medieval myth. God is no myth. His word is true, whether it's outlawed or not. His faithfulness is unfailing. And he's, he has a covenant promise that he's going to keep. And he's gonna keep on with that as long as he has people here that he wants to save. And that is our comfort. So this night, Remember, there are no independent nations. Maybe little tiny degrees that look like independence, but no one is independent of God. No person, no animal, no state, no country, and no Congress is independent of God. And that's a comforting factor for us this night because we know that our God is one who rules, who is in control, one that we can trust. And that is such a, such a beautiful blessing. So worship tomorrow, realizing that you're worshiping the King and you're having confidence in trusting him. And that is a great thing for theme, for comfort and peace this night. Again, thanks so much for being here. Uh, don't forget to hit subscription if you haven't already and turn on the post notifications. Check out the website, Everyday Talk 27 everydaytop247.com. You can even buy my upside down book and other books there. Uh, but again, great to be with you. 
Lord bless you. Rest this night knowing that God is the one where we're dependent upon, and that's the place of blessing. And may our country see that. Let's pray together that we would see a nation come to be dependent upon God. Thanks so much. Have a great night. And uh, Lord willing, we'll see you on Monday morning. Bye-bye.